If you live with a dog, you probably know that they exhibit some behaviors that are a little strange. Many of their behaviors are confusing to humans, but they are actually understandable once you know the reasons. Why do dogs bark at some strangers and not others? Why do they dig their bed or floor? And why do they bark at some dogs and not others? Stay tuned to find out. Why do dogs get so excited to see their owners? When you come home at the end of a long day, chances are your furry friend is over the moon with excitement and happiness. Dogs' extreme reaction to being reunited with their human companion is one of the things we love so much about them. But why do they get so excited to see us? When canine behavioral researchers studied the brain scans of dogs exposed to certain smells, they found that the scent of a familiar person triggered the reward centers of a dog's brain in a way that no other scent accomplished. This suggests that not only dogs can discern their familiar humans, but that dogs genuinely love spending time with their owners. Scientists believe that dogs experience something akin to pleasure when they smell their owners. Another study used a cognitive experiment designed for infants seeing their mothers after an absence to evaluate the response of dogs reuniting with their caregivers and found that the response is very similar. Keep in mind that dogs are very social animals that don't like to be left alone. This is why dogs are overexcited when you come home. After all, they've been waiting for you all day. Why dogs dig their bed or floor Dogs may dig their bed for several reasons. A dog's wild ancestors scratched at piles of leaves, dirt, and pine needles to create a comfortable mound of bedding to rest. Many domesticated dogs still retain this behavior. By scratching or digging at the floor or their bed, they are trying to create a snug nest to sleep in. Dogs are also known to dig holes to regulate their temperature. In the winter, dogs dig holes and then curl up inside them to help them trap their body heat overnight. By digging their bed, your canine companion may be trying to find protection against their environment by creating their own version of a nest. Bed scratching is also a territorial behavior. Dogs have glands in their paws that leave a distinctive scent on bedding or other objects they scratch. You may only see a tattered blanket, but your dog may see and smell a space that they have made their own. Dogs are more likely to return to a bedding spot if they already feel it's theirs. This is why bed scratching behaviors often begin to intensify when a new pet moves into the house or when you buy a new bed for your dog. Interestingly enough, bed scratching is also part of canine maternal instinct. If your female dog is getting ready to have her puppies, her bed scratching behavior will suddenly increase. She's making a nest for the arrival of her new pups to keep them warm and safe. Why dogs bark at some strangers and not others? There are several reasons as to why your dog barks at some people and not others. More often than not, dogs react to certain people negatively because they are experiencing something new. Every exposure to strangers, and with it a bunch of new smells, behavior, and looks, can seem threatening for a dog. Your canine finds itself in a situation where it feels insecure and anxious about something unfamiliar. Dogs are more likely to bark at the people who have more unfamiliar traits and features, like baggy clothes, particular body language, or wear accessories like hats, which can make the dog feel nervous. Some canines may fear men more because they have more weird features from the dog's perspective. They have a deeper voice, they're taller, and have facial hair. All these unknowns can seem scary and threatening to the dog. Negative association is another reason that dogs bark at certain people. Some people can appear frightening to certain dogs because they connect a person's looks or smell with bad memories. If the dog has been abused in the past, they can growl at people who remind them of those who mistreated them. Interestingly enough, dogs may also bark at people because they see people's true nature. Studies have shown that dogs can detect if a person is untrustworthy. Our four-legged friends are constantly monitoring our social interactions with strangers, and they are very wary of how other people treat their owners. They are more likely to show distrust and growl if they see a person as being mean to their owners. A recent study showed that a group of dogs who observed other people being rude to their owners actually had negative feelings toward the person who mistreated their owner. Dogs can even pick up the general attitude their owner has toward someone. When you have negative feelings about a person, your dog can hear your breathing pattern change, see subtle changes in your body language, and even smell fear or stress through the chemicals and hormones your body emits. When your dog senses these extreme emotions, they can feel uneasy and the end result is often growling or barking. So if your dog reacts negatively to your neighbor, 
It may simply be because you don't really like them. Finally, remember that dogs are territorial and protective of their owners. They may react aggressively toward any person invading their space or acting in a way that they perceive as threatening to their family. Behaviors that can result in a dog's protective reaction don't have to actually be aggressive. It can just be a sudden or energetic action. If a person makes any unusual movement or noise when you are around, your dog may perceive it as a threat and bark to make sure you stay safe. To prevent your dog from barking at strangers, make sure to properly socialize them. Introduce your dog to as many new sounds, sights, smells, and people as possible, especially when they are young, so nothing comes as a surprise to them. And approach other people with a calm and relaxed manner and your dog will learn to copy your composure. Another way to prevent your dog from barking at people is to redirect their attention using a command like watch me when someone new is around. When your dog looks at you on command, instead of barking at the stranger, reward them generously so they remember. What are dogs saying when they bark? Although dogs bark for lots of reasons, scientists formally thought that their barking didn't change depending on the message. Recent research, however, has found that there is more to barking than we first thought. Dogs have fairly plastic vocal cords that allow them to slightly alter the sound of their barks to convey different messages. While it's not yet clear to scientists what different growls and barks exactly mean, studies have shown that canines react differently to other dogs' vocalizations. For example, researchers recorded a dog growling at a stranger and growling over food. When they played back the food growl while offering another dog some juicy bone, dogs were much more hesitant to accept the treat than when they heard the stranger growl. Why dogs bark at some dogs and not others? There are several reasons as to why your dog barks at some dogs and not others. More often than not, your dog reacts to certain dogs negatively because it considers the other dogs as being threatening. It often happens when the other dogs are showing threatening body language. You may not notice their body language, but scent clues and subtle body signs such as freezing of the body, a hard stare, tense mouth, or wrinkled nose may be off-putting to your dog. Another reason that a dog may take an immediate dislike to another is that dog's historical experience. If, for example, your pooch was attacked by a white male dog in the past, they may exhibit intense fear and aggression toward white male dogs. Keep in mind that dogs are territorial creatures. They often bark at other dogs to tell them that this is their territory. It's their way of saying, I live here and I'm protecting my home and family. Dogs mark their territory by urinating on vertical objects. Your dog may have even been having a peeing war with other dogs in the neighborhood. And when your dog smells that other dog that covered his lamppost pee last week, he may have a few harsh words for him.